Oh, no, my four year old, your voice went on an adventure. You could have taken me with it if it was going somewhere we want. <laughs> okay, so we have to talk about device considerations. And we start off talking about legacy devices and how they're, they're old school, and that's just really the way to look at it. And when we say legacy devices, we talk about laptops or desktops. And um, if we're going to, in a school district, if we're going to get rid of them, though, to move to that, what are we going to do with them? Because some of them, um, you know, the school districts have put a lot of money into legacy devices, and they'll frown a little bit on that. We are moving towards a one-to-one -one device. And again, you're going to talk about cost. It is cost, cost savings in, in a sense, but we, how are we going to management, manage it, how are we going to do tech support, and then we talk about E-Rate a little bit because we brought that back down to bring your own device and how you're going to be able to continue to receive your E-Rate money. Virtualization, <coughs> we, we talked about like going to the cloud and things, but now you've got to talk about assessments, and, and even though we move into Common Core, we're not quite for sure the assessments that they're going to choose for us yet, and how is that going to play out in the school districts. Um, creating a productivity, even with our legacy devices, we have some of those and the tools that went with the legacy devices that we've already purchased for the students. Um, even though this is quick, fast, and easy, it's been purchased in a school, and they're going to want you to use it till it dies or falls apart. Okay. Um, and devices and being mobile. Well, concern about the devices are if the school district's going to purchase them, they're going to still think along the legacy lines and make it a five-year rotation. Five-year rotation for a mobile device is going to most no normally be updated within a year or six months. Okay, so how do we keep up with that? Um, schools really need to implement it, boom, from the ground level and go with it, and that means handing it out to everyone. But that's just not something in reality a school district can always do. So we talk about professional development. We said students and teachers, but we think your admins, if you're going to go one to one on mobile devices, those admins need to know what's coming to their building. They need to have that professional development to walk in and recognize what they're seeing. And we don't always see that, or they don't always understand our job. We say we're tech integration, they think this. This is tech integration. And we walk in and we go, yeah, it's regurgitation of information coming off the internet. That is so not technology integration. Yes, they're using tech. Great. Okay. BYOD, oh, it's more cost efficient for schools. It really is. Parents are buying these devices for their kids left and right. But only if you have the infrastructure to support it. Exactly. If you do not have the infrastructure to support that, it's We said management nightmare. Cost. We called it a management nightmare if things aren't set in place. You bring in 90 mobile devices into a school district, and they have backed up their wireless and done all of the things that they need to do in their infrastructure, 90 devices are going to kill your bandwidth in one day. Okay, you thought it moved like a turtle then? Mm -hmm. It's a dead turtle with all four legs up in the air. It's just not going to happen. So that's where our concerns are at. Well, we also want to include the board. Huh? Yeah. And oh, including we really the, want board. To include the board. Um, the board of your education, you know, of your establishment, they need to know what's going on. You can walk in and tell them this, but when you walk in and show them this, it's a whole different thing. So keep them included. Keep them included on all the information and show them how it's working. And, all of a sudden, their eyes light up just like kids from the experience. Anybody?